The use of injection or sampling DBB valves with or without a support collar is a common application in the process industry like oil and gas, chemical or petrochemical industry. But injection or sampling applications can also be very tricky. This is because an object inserted into a pipeline can prove disastrous if it is not properly designed. In the case of a sampling or injection probe, the vibration generated by the flow can cause the probe to vibrate so strongly that it breaks. But first, let's explain the difference between an injection application and a sampling application. As the name suggests, injection is used when adding additives into the media in the pipeline to produce a product according to end user specification. As for sampling, purpose is to draw media out from a pipeline and this media will be used as a sample that will be sent to a lab to check if the sample drawn from this sector is within the product parameters. Well, considering that an object inserted into the pipeline can prove disastrous if not properly designed, the calculation of the wake frequency becomes an important factor in the design of an injection or sampling DBB valve. Thereby, following rule of thumb applies for the length of the parts to be inserted into the pipeline. 1. Injection probe needs to be inserted to the center of the pipeline. 2. Sampling probe needs to be inserted to one-third of the pipeline diameter. So how does the wake frequency calculation work in practice? Let's check an example. An injection DBB valve with probe must be inserted halfway into a 400 mm diameter pipeline. To achieve that the probe tip is in the middle of the pipeline at 200 mm, the probe length must be 350 mm. This overall length is considered as the unsupported length. After the wake frequency calculation, the result shows that the maximum unsupported length is 300 mm instead of required 350 mm. In this case, a support collar must be inserted to achieve the length required by the end user. Well, let's see how the wake frequency calculation looks like using a support collar. A support collar is set at 50 mm away from the flange of the DBB valve. This portion is now considered as the supported length. The portion below, width of 300 mm, is considered as the unsupported length. The calculation starts from support collar onwards to the end of the probe. Having an unsupported length of probe at 300 mm, it is now within the recommendation for the wake frequency. And the overall length of the probe of 350 mm can be used as required. According to the standard ASME PTC 19.3TW, which focuses more on thermo wells but can also be applied to injection or sampling DBB valves with probe, support collars or other support are outside the scope of this standard and should only be used in consideration of the individual application parameters. Based on this, process engineers should better consider following options which could be better ways to prevent failures. One, reducing the immersion probe length into the pipeline. Two, reducing the height of flange roulette to reduce overall unsupported length of probe. Three, achieving maximum probe diameter of injection or sampling DBB valves. There you have the most relevant facts about injection and sampling DBB valves and the influence of the wake frequency calculation on the use of a support collar.